Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Nick the Creator. If you are new here, welcome. If you are not new here, thank you for returning. So as you guys know, I am coming out with a workshop called Pretty and Paid. It will be dropping towards the end of August, and I'm so excited. If you are a part of the VIP group, you will get a discount on it, so this is the time to join. If you're not a part of the VIP group, that is okay, but you will still have access to the workshop, all right? I'm putting my all into this so that you guys can get all this knowledge, get all this guidance, and especially tips from my experience, okay? So today we're going to be talking about what do you accept as truth. This is very important because a lot of people are gullible. And not only gullible, a lot of people are easily swayed. And this is an important tip while you are changing your life, while you are changing your identity, while you are striving for something, right? You need to be very careful of what you accept as truth. Remember, we're all human having a human experience. So just because 10 people had the experience that every time they step outside it rains does not mean that when they come on social media and they say yeah every time you step outside and you do this it's gonna rain doesn't mean that you have to go oh yeah let me accept that has truth remember that is just their experience created by whatever limiting or beliefs that they have internally okay you have a choice always when receiving knowledge to accept it or deny it the thing is when we were younger our parents did the best that they could they passed on to us what they learned from their parents and from their experience hence why some parents are so overbearing where they're like oh my god no don't go out late at night because if you go out late at night you're gonna there's gonna be bad stuff that happened because they have experiences where they know late night things could potentially happen and they don't want you to experience that, right? They're doing the best they could. So the beliefs that you have right now are instilled into you without question because the very first people that you, be, you come to trust, this is for people who have a regular dynamic. I know that there are people who are not close to their parents. I know that there are people who do not know their parents. But think of like a mentor or a guardian or somebody that you first um, formed a connection with when you were coming up as a youth you accepted what they said without any questioning and that's what most children do when you have a child you're going to instill stuff into your child and your child may not ask why or you may be a parent where a lot which allows your child to ask why and then you would then deem what you want to tell your child right so our beliefs was given to us without question so where your parent was like oh don't do this because so and so and so here's a better example I grew up in a strict Christian home, so sex was a taboo topic. So my parents would be like, no hugging because it leads to pregnancy. Now we know that hugging does not lead to pregnancy. We know that sex leads to pregnancy, right? But to me, in my head, I'm like, okay, don't hug. So I did not grow up as an affectionate person. I was not even affectionate in my first relationships when I started to get into relationships when I was younger. I was not affectionate because I'm like, I don't want to get pregnant. So do you see how if I had a choice, I could literally accept that as truth or not accept it as truth the reason why i'm talking about this is because a lot of you have these specific desires that you may not have seen somebody else have or you may have seen somebody else attempted and they have, may have failed and then they come to you or come to social media and give the experience and you like oh my gosh the one time i heard that somebody tried to do something that's similar to what it is that i want they failed so let me accept it no and this is why self-concept and confidence and fearless decision making is important has your changing dynamics in your life has your changing anything in your life so let's say you guys know in the last video i used this a farm if i see that a group of people come on and talk about how this is the hardships of farms and if you have a farm it's this and this and this i have a choice to either tune into that collective of people that told me that this is what farms is like or i can believe in my vision so much that i go no i know that there's an experience out there where i can have a farm i know that there may be even somebody else that can confirm that having a farm is fun and what's going to happen is my brain is going to filter out that experience and continue to filter in experiences where i get to experience people who talk about farms in a different light all right and a lot of people know this um in your brain has confirmation bias it's like it's going to confirm what you choose to what you choose to buy into what you choose to feed into be strong you guys know i say the same 10 toes down meaning stand 
firm on what it is that you're deciding that you want to experience. Social media is a great tool if you have a business, great place to want to laugh and comedy, but it also can be very damaging if you are not careful and if you're not firm in your vision. I'm not scaring you away from social media. I'm telling you to be aware of what you're accepting as truth. Just because 10 women said that men lie does not mean that you have to buy into those 10 women because with those 10 women, there's 20 women telling you that they're in the relationship of their dreams. Same thing for you men, because I know that men watch my channel as well. Just because 10 men tell you that women only want you for this and women only want you for this, there's 20 men that are going to tell you that they're with the women of their dreams and that it's possible to travel the world and do this and da 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 you decide what you are accepting as true. If you are someone that is accepting everything, 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 I think it's time to take a step back and really decide what you are determining. So when I want to have an experience, and this is my personal experience, when I want to have an experience, I get, I get really clear on what it is that I want to have. And then I tell myself without any proof, okay, this is possible because I saw it in my mind's eye. I saw it, I felt it, whatever. Now when I'm going about my daily life, because I am going to interact with people, I am going to have moments where I scroll on social media, I am very aware that if a story comes up or something comes up where it's showing me the opposite, I, right in that moment, have a choice to buy into it and feel distraught, or I go, no, that's not for me. It's the same thing as when you guys are reading YouTube comments. There'll be the millions of people who tell you the sex success stories from a, a YouTube, and then there's a two people like, this did, this did not work for, for me. And you may feel, oh my God, if this didn't work for, for them, how is it going to work for me? Remember, you had a choice. You just saw 10 success stories, but you bought into the two that didn't work for them. What are you accepting as truth? Be very aware. Remember, you are the operant power. You decide what you, are, what you want to experience. You decide. You decide every single time. It doesn't matter. Here's an even better example, guys, and this will be my last example for the end of the video. Think about the people who um, are, have miraculous healing from cancer, miraculous healing from incurable diseases. Doctors have technology and x-rays to show it in the body. And those people still decided that what the doctor just told them is a no. I'm the operative power. And they go back and they're healed from cancer. They go back and they're healed from the incurable disease. They go back and they can have a child after the doctor told them they can't have a child. They go back and they can walk after the doctor said they'll be paralyzed for life. They wake up out of a coma after the doctor said they might be in a coma for life. And that's my father's example. They told my father that he would be in a coma. And my father's very much alive and well. You have a choice to accept what knowledge you are accepting as truth. By all means, if the, if the knowledge that comes in is going to help you, empower you, push you forward, receive it. But if it does not, say no and do not feel bad about it. Keep it moving. All right, guys? I love you. You are powerful. You are limitless. You are infinite. You can have anything that you want. And I'll be back.